Hello, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. This video is going to be a book review um, of one of, I would say, my favorite books currently. One of the modern books that came out not that long ago, which is The Green Witch. Um, this is a pretty mainstream book right now, so I wanted to give my thoughts and personal review on this. Um, I'm going to be going in depth on this book, and I will leave a um, link in the description box on where you can where you can purchase this book if you are interested. After watching this, I bought this book about two years ago, I would say, on Amazon. So I will leave the Amazon link down in the description box below. Um, it was ten something, so like eleven dollars, I would say, on Amazon. This is a hard cover book. Um, the complete title is The Green Witch, your complete guide to the natural magic of herbs, flowers, essential oils, and more by Aaron Murphy Hescock. I hope I did not butcher that name, but I love this book and I just want to share why and what this book entails and whatnot because I feel like as an air sign and a witch that you can never have too many books so if you guys are interested in expanding your magical library I'm going to be giving a lot more reviews on different books but this is the first book review so like I said I got this off of Amazon and it was not expensive and I like the size of it because I can put this in a purse of mine and take it with me it's kind of travel size I like the fact I like the aesthetic look of it I like that's hardcover but I'll first before I go into what's in each chapter and how many parts are into it and whatnot. I want to share my personal views of this book before I go into that. So personally, I like this book because it talks about the Green Witch Path. When I first bought this book, I want I bought it with the intent to hopefully help me understand and learn how to work with Mother Nature more into my practice because I know about basic correspondences about herbs and stuff, but I felt like um, like I needed to really learn how to connect back to Mother Earth and how to get back into those roots. So that was my intent going into buying this book. Now, when I bought this book, I was completely blown away. I love the fact that this book has amazing reference charts that gives you um, a great point of view of how to start your work with Mother Nature, no matter what um, area you decide to work in, whether it be astrological or working with actual trees or roots, herbs, flowers, gemstones, um, how to make your own recipes with using Mother Nature's gifts and whatnot, and there's different rituals and stuff you could do in here. It just gives a lot of great tips, and I love the fact that it even mentions um in and out throughout this book that even if you live in a city setting like me i live on the east coast of the united states and i do live in a city and it gives you a great point of view of how you can still work with mother earth even if you are in a city environment which i think is amazing so i'm going to now be going into what is in each chapter and how many parts and whatnot so let's just get into it so first open the book looks like this and has the title dedication acknowledgement page and then it goes straight through to the um table of contents feel free to pause this video if you want to actually read a part so this is the first oh gosh it's backwards i'm sorry you guys but this is the first table of contents i'm just gonna read it roughly to you guys okay so this book is in two parts and has a total of nine chapters. So two parts, nine chapters, and then at the end it has an apex for magical associations of natural items. So part one deals with the discovery, the discovering the green witch. So chapter one and part one deals with what is green witchcraft which is The Path of the Green Witch, A Brief History of Green Witchcraft, Learning to Identify with the Earth, and the Magic of Being a Green Witch. Chapter 2. Embrace Your Own Power. Focus on Your Energy Centers. Tools of Use. Make Your Home a Sacred 
place. Make a sacred outdoor space. Be in tune with Earth. Chapter 3, Part 1. Attune yourself to nature. Get to know your corner of the universe. Experience the environmental energy around you. Grounding yourself. Work with the four natural elements. Discover and develop your senses. Chapter 4, Part 1. Manifest the power of the seasons. Seasonal cycles and energy. Celebrating the solstices and equinoxes. Meditations for every season. Performing seasonal rituals. Part 2. Part 2 is walking the green path. So chapter 5 deals with living closely with the earth. The sun, the moon, the stars, working with green energy, the magic of trees, tap into the energies of flowers, potent herbs and greens, using stones, the bones of the earth. Chapter 6, Part 2. Keep a green witch garden, the power in a garden, designing your garden, tips on planting, caring for your garden naturally. Fill your home with house plants. Chapter 7, Part 2. Create and craft green witch magic. Preparing herbs. Extracting the energy of herbs. Blessing your creations. Making herbal incense. Create spell bags. Craft a dream pillow. Garden spell bags. Make a broom. Craft balms or perfumes. Build Garden Stepping Stones. Chapter 8, Part 2. Become a Natural Healer. The Steps of Healing. Brewing Healing Teas. Energy Empowering Essential Oils. Regenerating Baths and Bath Salts. Make restor Restorative Elixirs. Chapter 9, Part 2, which is the last chapter. Green Witch Kitchen Recipes. Tap into the energy of fruits. Integrate the power of flowers. Craft vinegars for potency. Add sweetness with infused sugars. Boost health with vegetables. Incorporate the goodness of grains. And then after that chapter is just the apex, um, appendix, which is the magical associations of natural items. So with me mentioning that there's two parts and what's in each chapter, as you can tell just from me reading that, is that there's a lot of reference material, there's reference charts, recipes, different exercises, techniques, and spells that you can learn how to do in here. And I just love how it literally just digs deep into the green witchcraft, natural magic. Um, yeah, so I think this is a great book, especially for beginners, because gives the reference material, how to connect with the earth, why is it significant, how you can make this in your own mundane life and magical. And it talks about the home, you know, working with what's around you with Mother Earth, connecting, developing your senses, being aware of, you know, your corner of the universe, astrologically, environmentally, of what's around you. And it's just, I love this book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. I plan on doing many others, but I just love this book. I will leave um, a, a link, like I said, in the description box about this, um, where you could purchase it. And I will leave more information as I can about this. So thank you guys for watching and blessed be.